prove that they deserved it a little bit more. And now these round two matches are about to come. And what do we say about them? Zokta, are they going to easily take it against uh, FTW or is it going to be a little bit closer? Because as we said, the previous map, the cobblestone was a little bit too inconsistent. Yeah, it was too inconsistent. But I, what I find so great right now about the entire Soktai lineup that their entire frags are really, really balanced out. No one massively underperforms. No one massively overperforms. Ratification did great work with a 25-22 scoreline in the end. That is something to work with, definitely. But I personally see it that way that with a new map we're going to see, and I can imagine we're not seeing Cobblestone again. I'm seeing not Cash once more. We'll find out very soon but you're right you're fully right this was not consistent enough but on the other hand ftw was not like taking the victory because they were super great of course great performance we've seen but the issues on the side of wise wizards also decided that a guy like lando came out 24 and 9 with a sick uh 1.7 sex set 17 1.76 rating god damn it so i see the consistency might be an issue on the ftw side Mm, yeah, there is a there is a thing for that definitely the the harsh reality of Wise Wizards having some problems in the first match, but then getting twenty four kills still isn't that easy. I mean, you are still playing against some some great guys uh, from from the German from Germany out there, and how do you sum it up? Like, yes somebody's not covering that one angle, that one position that you're usually safe from. But Lando also is an opper, so it's not like he was running in and getting these kills really easily. He still also had to work off to, to, to get his positions and to um, get these shots that weren't so easy. I mean, we had that one highlight where he jumped up on on top of Red on bombsite A yeah, but... and got an amazing kill. Things like these don't happen so easily, so... Uh, you still can't I see take your point. it away from him completely. I see your point, but personally, this last match was just no comparison. When you're playing five rounds in a 4v5, this is just no comparison worth in my eyes. This is no real competition. And those guys from Wise Wizards, you know, be kind to them, be nice to them, all great. But they're also not a team like Gameplay DNA. So I see that the big issue we're going to realize in a second is Zoktai had the harder enemy. Zoktai had a map that was extremely favorable for the Lithuanians. And then they come out with a victory, which is a big surprise to me. I didn't ever expect the Norwegians get that far. But now we're going to find out how far they can actually get if they will directly go into the final or if FTW will they make, make their way. That's the right English word. Anyway... Wise Wizards Academy versus Gameplay DNA will be our second next game at 19th Century European time, or a little later. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. But we're taking a look at FTW versus Sock Tie very soon. Yeah, and that's that's that that matchup. For me, it should be very one-sided, but I just get that feeling that today is weird. Because you see some disconnects yeah. on Wise Wizards. You see Zoktai not doing so well against gameplay DNA. After all, with the victory that they grabbed, yeah, sure, they proved to be the better team. But then, remember what happened at the very beginning of the map? Gameplay playing with uh, yeah. two Augs on the, on, the, on the eco round. They played with some Zeus's. So that could have been the three rounds that they were away from victory. Indeed. I don't know. I mean, you're f you're fully right. You're fully right about that. It's a little bit awkward today, but yesterday wasn't even less awkward. But this is sometimes the great magic best of ones come up with, right? Sometimes best of ones mm -hmm. are that kind of magic box where you find the craziest things for some reason. It doesn't need to make sense all the time. This is not what life, CSGO, and love is about. But in the end, this is what we're seeing so far. And... Um, if you don't know about what you can actually do here at ELC, we have two great things for you. You have betties, which are our in-chat currency. And with that in-chat currency, you can bet on your favorite team. That's the first thing. So you can support them. You can say, hey, I think right now that the Germans from FTW, they are definitely going to make it. And secondly, what's also great, you can use those betties to buy tickets. And those tickets are useful for the giveaway we're having here at ELC Gaming. So logically, don't forget about that. Your reward for watching is not only great CS, it's only the Bettys. So that is also a great thing. And don't fall, don't forget to follow and subscribe because you 
have some great emojis. I mean, that, that uh, ELC value at the ELC Betty is always very useful. I like them both a lot because if they're somewhat annoying, you can run them over with the Betty and just spam it in the chat pretty much. Okay, I, I didn't think about that, but yeah, the truck is uh, amazing also in real life, so you have to get these tickets not only in the chat to win the giveaway, but also you have to get these tickets to show up on the LAN finals for um, for the CSGO Legends Series number two. And um, we're just waiting for the third match of the day to start, and I am hoping that this match will give us a little bit more info, more solid info on what to expect in the final games of this group. Because, mm -hmm. as we mentioned for now, it's been a little bit weird. And I feel like FTW should be completely run over by uh, by Zoktai. But as I mentioned, like even when the Wise Wizards were playing with the full team, it did not look like uh, FTW did not deserve the rounds that they won, actually. They had some real nice shots and... They're not the ones to like completely neglect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I agree on that. I I couldn't even say it differently. But um, throughout the entire week, or more likely for an entire last two days, we've seen interesting plays. We've seen interesting teams. We've seen interesting uh, matches. Isu was the first one to come out. The second one was those guys from playing ducks, and now we're going to see. If we are seeing one more Lithuanians, if they're going to get out, we're seeing that at 19 CET. But first of all, Europe, Europe versus Norway very soon, starting up here at ELC Gaming. And that will be... that. Will, I mean, it's map-dependent once more. I mean, we have seen Cash on the FTW side. We talked about the Germans. Soktai played just Cobblestone on a really enemy-based map. And... Um, I don't know really. I have the feeling, you know, deep deep inside my heart, I see FTW taking this home. Uh huh. I have the feeling. I don't okay. know why. Okay. You're, sometimes even you have to go for something risky, right? Because uh, why not? I was going for, for a lot of these risky bets uh, over the last two days. Mm, some of them have worked out. I mean, with Isoba, uh, I put them on the first place spot in Group A. Then they massively screwed up against Reason Gaming, but then they came back uh, killing everybody. So that's um, a little bit surprising, but you still cannot call that a, a prediction because I never expected them to, to do like that in the group, these yeah. results, these particular like matches. Uh, anyway, though, mm -hmm. in Group B, uh, we definitely did not expect uh, Pogstars out there, but... Uh, yeah, UX overall, they didn't do such a bad job. They have uh, beaten Arctic twice. And uh, overall, there definitely, in my opinion, is a lot of potential in this team. But at the end of the day, playing Ducks to control of it all. And, and they will be also the ones that we will get to see on LAN. And here, we're a little bit further from seeing the other Lithuanian team in Hamburg. Because gameplay DNA are dropping down to the loser's uh, side. And uh, with that, probably our prediction about them winning it all is already screwed. So why not bet on FTW? Yeah, I see, I see your point there. But um, what's more exciting is actually tomorrow in my eyes. Tomorrow we have more high-class teams. Tomorrow we have also guys from Netherlands. This is what I always find interesting. But we have Planet Key Dynamics as well as Existence. The guys from Spain. So I will definitely look forward to that one tomorrow. I will definitely be interested in how it will goes, how it will go as well. Because you're going to see two other casters. But um, the map pick, I will say, uh, before before we go on to go to the my magic head says we're going to see uh, Mirage. You're peaking. I say Mirage. You're peeking. No, I'm not okay. peeking. I swear to God, I'm not peeking. It's Inferno. Yeah, fuck. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, not 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 what I expected to uh, see. But um, that's interesting, actually. Why would they go for that? Why would they go for that? Anyway, Inferno will be the map we're going to see in a second as the players and everything else, everyone else more likely, is connecting. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really into seeing that one. Inferno, once more, not that CT side as it once was once. We had that revamp a few months, a lot of months ago, actually. And now it is more really 
ah, you can use momentum so badly as a T. You can use momentum so insanely good. And this is where I see the option for whoever is going to be the terrorist to not be down a drain instantly. But we're going to find out. The knife round will tell us. The knife round will tell us who will it be. Eight out of ten are on the server. And now we're just waiting for it to go. Rosie will play a key role in my eyes. If Rosie doesn't perform in this one, it could go badly for Zog time. Yeah, definitely. But then you've got Halzer Knab because a lot of people are actually acting out weird when you don't say that K. Because, of course, you know, sometimes instead of a noob, you say an ab. It's had some people that... Never mind. Never mind that nickname. But he was doing quite fine with the AWP. Truth, all the same, even though he was not a main opera on the team, he was playing with that op many times, and he was able to save it up very, very successfully, getting that triple kill that I uh, definitely still remember very well. And, of course, Enix. He was our highlight player even before the previous match started. And he, indeed, I think, lived up to the expectations. And Zoktai, they win the pistol, uh, the knife round, excuse me. And, yeah, they are going to go for the for the CT side. And that's something I'm not happy about. Because I wanted to say a little bit earlier that uh, I would prefer them to lose the knife round. Because that way they would be starting on the T side. And they could get some good scoreline going from the very first moments. And, it's like, make everything quicker. Uh, because right here, after the CT side, even if they get like real good score uh, on the halftime, they're not going to be so sure on the T side. But when you get a good score going as the T side starter, then on the CT side, you're just going to close it all out. It's just going to be about the formal taking that 16th 16, 16th round. Oh, no. Moza already getting taken out early on. This is exactly how you want to start it off. If you are Zoktai. Oh, an aggressive position. Halzer doesn't get damage at all, but he realized what's up. He should retreat at this moment, oh, but he misses. stays for some reason out in the open. Yeah, this is, this is where it gets problematic as Butter K finds him in four versus four. Enix, no hits, no hits. Oh, no. This is, this is really, really embarrassing right now for Zog time. Oh, no, that's going to be still the seat. He's getting the headshots all over the place. And on that also, even through the wood or... Whatever it is uh, in front of them, they're going to pierce through it and uh, they take that bomb defuse. But FTW got the bomb planted. Um, that's a little bit of money for them. Sure, it's motivating. But then on the other hand, seeing only two frags and Hauser Knapp doing so well right there on Banana. Not uh, quite sure if it's going to be enough. Uh, because as I pointed out, like against uh, Wise Wizards, FTW were doing a good effort. They were winning a lot of these rounds, which is aim-wise being better on these situations. When they lost, it was like only one man remaining on Wise Wizards here. There's a possibility that Zoktai will completely dominate them and like will not even lose too many people. I mean, as you've mentioned, Zoktai could seriously bring this in a horrific situation. Moonzo already gets taken down. And um, I honestly think that FTW needs to bring up that strength from Lando as well as from Robin Hood. Both of them did a really good job in the beginning. Both of them did a seriously consistent performance. But as I've mentioned, and as I've already said, I don't think that the game earlier on against the Wise Wizards was really something to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. All right, faction tries to. Get a little bit more aggressive right now on Banana and instantly deals a ton of damage to oh, God. one of the players in FTW. But Lando through the smoke, he's gonna take one guy down, and that's more than just damage because that Robin Hood is also able to finish off Red Faction, making it a 5v3. And they might have Robin Hood on 11 and most on 14, but does Truth know exactly who's gonna be the tagged one? Of course, he doesn't. I gotta say that it didn't really make sense to me why you would push for the smoke so aggressively when you know your your opponent got themselves such a good buy because they took one bomb. That didn't really make sense to me. Now Enix needs to pretty much clean up as Truth has no chance to come through this. Now and it's Enix time is to also say not gonna have a chance. Zaktai, yeah, given away, the round was given away and there was no reason to take it that aggressive. Robin finds Truth in the end, thrown away. Totally unnecessary play by Zoktai. That man advantage they gave FTW early on into Banana. It was it sounds harsh, but it was just dumb. It was just it was just dumb. Mm -hmm. 
truth. He's gonna be playing with a CZ. They don't have an AWP, so sure. Halsignab might be hurt by that a tiny bit. FTW this time, they don't get dinked on Banana. The first thing that happens, actually, so that's definitely nice for them. But Enix is gonna get an entry kill. Amazing. It's a very valuable kill because Lando is an important member of FTW's team. But okay, we'll get spotted out by Truth right here. I'm quite sure of that, but Truth a little bit sloppy. Still getting the frag, and that's 5 on 3. And with 5 on 3, it's so complicated for FTW. It's not so easy to turn around. Robin is going to be down to very low HP, and Rosie doesn't even kill him. He kills the pine. Leaving an easy target for his teammates who are prepared on bomb site A. And Mosa trying to clear out the way, although there's only Truth prepared out there. For now, I'm quite sure Zokta will be able to catch up just in time. And most importantly, Truth being hidden still in these apartments, there is a possibility he'll interrupt the bomb plant, and that's going to be crucial. That will be pretty crucial, but um, first of all, it looked very sloppy from FTW. Now it looks sloppy from Zokta, because they were in such a good man advantage situation, and suddenly everything turns downhill. 30 seconds for FTW. 30 seconds for the European mix to play with... And it is Mosa just waiting around the corner. Will Halza realize, or will FTW even perform something? Because look at the clock and look at their positioning. Robin. How is he going to survive? Uh, well, now it's going to be an even tougher situation for him since, yeah, down to 28 HP, completely surrounded by the enemies. The 100% HP guy that was supposed to be his savior. Actually died first, and 3-1 in favor of Zaktai. FTW getting a single round right there is definitely not enough to sate their hunger. But they will have to sit and wait a little bit longer since they're playing with pistols now. And as you say it, pistols can be lethal in the banana section, but no armor on the majority for FTW makes it so unnecessary difficult. Grenade of Ready Faction hits one. There comes the spray, but still down to four versus three. And the pistol shot gets Ready Faction quiet badly. Needs to retreat as all the Germans, uh, Finnish, no, Swedish, goddammit, and Hungarians are coming in flames. That is a burnt Lando, but the fine is still alive. The Swede, but no chance. Four versus one. Zogtai can finally secure another one. Mm hmm. Um. Zoktai, this time I hope that they will be able to keep building up that advantage because against gameplay DNA at some points they always stopped for no reason and have given up a little bit too many rounds for, for, for my comfort. Making the game overall a little bit too close. Anyway, Halsiknap once again peeks out in the banana and is not able to get the kill just yet. He's going to avoid the flashbang and this one, yeah, should be a little bit easier and gets it. 5v4, right off the bat, FTW having the AKs, they're going to be very unhappy about it, but last time that CT's got a dink on Banana was FTW to a trial, yeah, just... so maybe the initial damage is not so worth it for Zoktai. That was exactly my thought. Not push Banana again, please. This is just not worth it. It's not smart enough to do so because you actually get nothing out of it when you do it over and over and over. Now the smoke shot landing quite good onto the A site. Good control. Define is taken here early on. They're coming in, and Truth should also realize what's up. Because there will be Butter K up there. There will be Butter K to take him down if he doesn't react fast enough. Graveheart is a great position for that, but the shots are being spotted. Now back to a 4 versus 4, and Truth not hitting the shots. Position known. Oh god, this is way too many frags happening, but here we go. Rosie once more stepping up massively. Uh -huh. And in this inconsistency that we were talking about so much, you've got Rosie that is starting to clear out some consistency for himself because uh, when he gets these spray downs, they're always immensely successful. And just like that, Zoktai have uh, one solid member of their team that they can always count on. It's very important to have. Now, pistols again for FTW will probably provide us with a 6-1 scoreline in just a couple of seconds.
And as we see, I mean, FTW, we have not seen many pauses from them, except the one we had in the last game due to technical issues. And I don't know if that European mix is actually up to the standards regarding tactical finesse. If they're up to their standards to say, okay, we can outplay them and not only, you know, out-aim. So far, we have not seen it on cash because also those guys from Wise Wizards were no real strategic threat. At that point, Rosie finds Robin, though. And that pistol down a lot of damage, which favors Moza massively, but only Moza with 16. The only one who got a frack in this one gets taken down in the end. And I don't know how you feel. You know, I don't know how you feel about this ending so quickly if FTW don't get their feet on the ground. Uh, that's, after all, something that I expected to happen. But I also expected the unexpected to, to possibly uh, see in here. But it's not a thing. FTW, this far, are being outclassed by Zaktai. And when they go down to the loser's brackets, it might be the same thing that we get to see if this time uh, the oh, other God. German team does not have any problems. Good shot from Buttergate, definitely. And there's one man lead for FDW, though can they hold on to it? Halsetnap has fallen back to the bomb site. That's going to complicate stuff a lot because he's holding on to an AWP. If he doesn't get a good angle, he might not even be able to get a single kill. And with it, FTW pretty much have that round in their pockets. But when Halsiknap makes it harder, and FTW can still lose it very easily. Good position from Ian. I don't Ian understand the aggression Halsiknap onto Banana, but Penix. That's exactly how he do it. And this is exactly how Robin Hood is now onto his own. 50 seconds left. Halsiknap does it. And what I just wanted to mention, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, but why would you push Banana? Why would you peek so aggressively Banana over and over and over as a CT? If you have to put in the realization, okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. This is how one of the players there died onto Banana because they got boosted up. Thankfully, it was not Halzer Knapp if you're a Zoktai fan because he pretty much ruled it out in the end and made it possible. The bread and butter for Zoktai, it stays exactly how it is because... Great defenses is their bread and butter right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, good incendiary also to stop the two up and coming terrorists. So, FTW can't do much, can't do, uh, can't can pick up the pace simply. And that's what you want to do with the tech nines. You want to surprise the enemies as much as possible. You want to get these quick headshots and pick up the weapons. But FTW got completely limited on that, and there's a possibility that we'll now try to run down the clock, and I don't see that working for them. Especially in a 3v5, but when Lando gets a double headshot, they can pick up two weapons, and all of a sudden it all makes sense. Truth is down to 16 HP, Ratifaction has 44. He's also quite close to being dead, especially when he faces off against uh, Barakay's AK-47, for instance. But it's not yet over. There's got to be one man. One single man on bomb side B, and it's a ratification. And earlier on, we could see Halsic Knapp in the previous round right there. So I think that maybe that AWP would be a little bit more suitable. And definitely, Orlando yeah. proves that that indeed is the case. I fully didn't understand why the aggression onto that spot was so necessary. In the end, I understand when they come for banana, but the options. We're just too versatile. Truth goes for the safe. Of course, Halzer tries to find anything. He has a kit. He has a smoke. Two flashbangs. But finding three guys, finding three FTW players will be just a too tough of a task. Mm -hmm. Fine. He can even close it all out if he wants right now. But his house... Okay, peaks at a perfect moment. Nobody expecting that. Uh, but yeah, he got spotted out by Potter K2. Probably wouldn't be such a bad attempt if he, if he managed to disappear in the smoke. But the smoke wasn't even thrown in and not too sure if he even had it. Didn't take a look at the grenades. Now it's just up to those guys from Zoctite to not give FTW that space to work with. Because once you let those guys get their cat out of the sack, it will get a little bit problematic because we have seen how it can work on to cash. Strong frags and here we just go. This is the AWP of Zoktai already down the drain. And Moza takes big aggression. Flames are coming close, putting him down to 60 HP though. 
And FTW should think twice if they directly want to push onto that banana. If they directly mm -hmm. want to push through there to the B side or not, Rotation comes back from Lando. And he gets back his AWP. Okay. Interesting. Getting interesting because finally FTW are starting to grab some rounds here and there. Finally starting to figure out some things. And after all, they're on the D sides. It's not yet over. It's not yet such a horrible uh, kind of a scoreline for them. Well, well, well. 55 seconds. I mean, that man advantage for FTW is just good right now. I mean, you can work with that so well, but the question is how ready faction together with Truth make it possible as Oscar Enix is there with the op. Look at his positioning. The question, will he be pre-aimed or not? The flash is just not working out Fine. as well. He should be able to get those frags. And he sees what? the one, but he doesn't connect. Now he finally gets it. Oh, that was the mouse setting Raleigh. And oh, that headshot for Enix as well. Misses the second one in 30 seconds. FTW now or never for this round. The first kill from Enix also so crucial right there to stop another terrorist from going through. That's why he could possibly getting rid of his teammate who was, well, struggling a little bit, you can definitely see. Now, Red Faction is pretty low in health, so he's got to be careful. But the same goes for the find. Fine! He's a little bit late, though, as Robin makes a crucial mistake here. And the time is out. Zoktai take this round by the time advantage. Pretty much sums it up what you're what? saying, but um, that was going to be actually close it not out. Not necessary. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's a nice like additional thing to have. But FTW, all right now in the point at the at the point, excuse me, where they have to realize, okay, this half is now over. Try to make the best out of it because they can still go for the seven points, right? And CT side on to Infernal, though it's re ramped though the guys at Valve did a major change to it. It is still the same map. It is still that CT advantage you can see at it, but a lot more momentum, a lot more strength, and especially speed FTW could work with. Let's see if they will do it in the last four rounds of this map, or if Zoktai can just go home with a double-digit scoreline. And take a look at the money real quick. That is not real. That is a weird mixture. Like, Lando, they find a Robin Hood on 1.3. And their loser bonus is not that big as well. So the next round, if they lose it, will be really weird with the economy. I mean, when you see a little bit of a force buy from a team, and then there's a guy playing with just a Glock and no Kevlar, it's quite weird. And yeah, Mosa, he picked up an M4 and wasn't really able to do anything with it, because first of all, he had the M punch, and yeah, overall, in my opinion, was not prepared for this round. And only one kill for uh, the fine to... Kind of make it a little bit sweeter at the ending of this round, um, and besides from Lando getting one. And when they started entering the sides, but uh, it wasn't such a big period of time setting these two kills apart. They got obliterated pretty much in like four to five seconds. Yeah, you sum it up perfectly. And Define, really, go for that one. Truth comes in directly. <laughs> The MP9 has an insane fire rate. Oh, and this is now... Oh, no! He uses his Zeus and he fails at using it properly. How, how can you fail using a Zeus? How does that even make sense? Is uh, it technically Zeus possible actually, to fail a Zeus? Zeus actually has a recoil. That's first of all. And second of all, uh, it can deal not enough damage. So, yeah. Zeus is extremely wow. unreliable. So if the fine GG is watching this, I'm extremely disappointed at this point. I expected more from the usage of Zeus. I mean, four hundred dollars down a drain for such a thing. Or how much is it to four hundred? Right, Zeus is something like that. Not sure because so many I mean, changes how much were does... made, and pretty much I don't use that, so I don't play around with Zeus's. I much more prefer to get a knife. You just play the wrong guns. Than a Zeus kill. Yeah, that. That's exactly why you are at silver one, um, but. Anyway, Zoktai, oh no, the flashbang on Irati faction was just perfectly executed. Now, Annex needs to realize how to approach this. Goes near to Coffin, and the bomb is on the other side of the map. They find not really sure how to approach it yet. Rotation from Zoktai is quick, maybe, but just maybe go back onto Banana. And don't dedicate. And Define oh, thinks about it twice. Take a look at that. Enix with that uh, 19 HP, yeah, not looking too strong, but then 
We've got a guy with no Kepler. He's probably gonna get killed off real quickly too. Comes to where throws, he's got a grenade, so he could even do it with that. And the incendiary is tossed at first. So the CT's taking their time, and it seems to not be the greatest idea. Truth is able to pick off the find, but now he's gonna be in a straight 1v1 against the Ramanu, who knows exactly where the guy is. Truth loses this round, and FTW are getting around that I don't think they were supposed to actually. I, I thought that Zoktai will now easily close out the first half. Uh, yeah. So the 5 to 10 is still in the cars. But can they do it? Yeah, this is kind of awkward. I fully agree. This should have never happened in this scenario because A, the find didn't even have armor, so that should have been so easy to take them down one after another. But as we're seeing so much control, FTW is quick. They're pretty much down on the throttle and they're hitting nothing in this point except Robin Hood, of course, takes down Rosie. Moza takes another one and now it's quick and dirty. Just 25 seconds into the game and A side nearly fully controlled. Only Truth can make something out of it. He stays hidden. Oh no, Truth. What are you doing with the shots? Okay. He's gonna get the kill on Alsic. Nap! And for FTW to just seal the deal in the first half with some impressive rounds. That's gonna be good motivation for what's about to come. But they get the CT side when they settle in with the dominance at first already. And um, win the pistol round. That's gonna be 8 to 10. Assuming they're gonna get that fifth round too. Assuming they're gonna win the pistol round, of course. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna make things believable. That's gonna make it look pretty. But for now, Zoktai still stay the, the ones in the lead. And I'm not eager to change my uh, decision so quickly. Yeah, that is... Exactly right what we're saying. I mean, ratification, ratification, excuse me, already gets down to... Okay, no, totally denying what I'm saying here. He free AK is now on the board for him. Oh, and Lando with the shot for the smoke takes on Halter uh -huh. Knapp. Doesn't even care where he's looking at. Lando is hype. Take a look. He really makes it possible at this moment. And um, now we're seeing just more and more aggression. Oh, Lando. I never noticed when you say, oh, Lando, it sounds like Orlando. That is interesting. But anyway, we're seeing the break from him coming in. The find gets rosy in the end, and already faction with an AK in armor. Has to do some magic. Right, a faction coming up close. He might so uh, well know exactly where to look for the find, but is he want to know about Mosa? Yes, he does. Potter K, though, is the last boss, the final boss right here, and with Rad Faction already being so low, he still manages to tag him down quite considerably, leaving him on 19 HP, and one more bullet would have done it, but yeah, the third guy was just a bit too much. Totally right. And um, we though. have the pause at this moment. Yeah, 10 I mean, it's workable for FCW at this point if Zoktai does not get the pistol. Yeah, definitely. That pretty much sums it up in my, in my perspective. Because um, when you get that great not... momentum and speed... No, you go ahead. We, we don't, we we're making it already awkwarder, as it should be. Okay. Uh, I just want, wanted to, you to finish. I don't, I'm, I'm wondering what's, yeah, the, what's course, happening when you get the momentum of speed. <laughs> and what happens is, though, what happens, dear ladies and gentlemen, when you get that momentum and speed on the terrorist side on a beautiful map like Inferno, you can get so easy fracks. Take the example of Banana, get onto it, and take down every single one. But we know long range advantage with the USPS. Pop some heads and pop yourself a sixth round. We're going to find out. Yeah, so that's that's uh, that's very valuable. What you said right here, the momentum will mean a lot, definitely on the T side Thanks. of Imperial, but... Um, I don't know. FTW at least have some something to work with, and I, I believe we saw an even more one-sided Inferno already yesterday, but I might be mistaken right here, but uh, the first half left playing no ducks. doubts after all yeah you mean playing ducks or so. you mean the guys uh, they played afterwards the germans of ux uh i mean playing ducks if, if i'm not messing it all up completely because i might be talking about 
a different match overall. But anyway, everybody's back and they're going to be unpausing the game apparently. So let's continue and let's see some more of that Lando magic maybe. Yeah, maybe it's going to be that Lando magic that will now occur, but he has no armor, so aim punch will be his problem in this moment of time. We see, interesting enough, not seeing that very often, counter play with two P2000 on default. That is also interesting to see. That mid-take, uh-oh, this might be the wrong... Yeah, this is not really the smartest idea, but Rosie takes down Robin Hood. Only one more is left onto the A-side. Maybe not even the worst idea, but also Moza needs to hit his shots. Otherwise, this is already lost. Moza gets one. And the plan will happen either way. But so many players are rotating already. Uh-huh. Four on three. FTW, they have the edge. They have Lando alive. They have a defuse kit. They have an incendiary and a smoke and a flashbang. Everything that they need. But they're going to lose the fights against Truth and Rosie. And back to two on two. And now it's quite even. And Enix is keeping Barricade away for a long, long time. And he's going to get a headshot. Come on. And with Barricade also knowing exactly where to look. That's so disappointing. Now most is gonna be defusing the bomb, and Enix is oh, not no. gonna make it in time. What? Oh my goodness! Oh, Why? No! Why? Such an amazing situation uh, that he figured out for himself, and then to waste it uh, by just not being certain enough if the bomb is being defused. But I guess I understand why he didn't want to do that. Because down to 16 HP, even a lucky shot right there, even maybe a late shot through the wall, possibly would have put him down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the problem at this point of time, because you might consider that the enemy doesn't have that kit, though I think the guy who died, the guy who died before him should have told him maybe. Maybe he saw that, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Diffuse has Sometimes happened, you though. just don't pay attention to it. Yeah, but you have to pay attention at this kind of level. You can't just leave that unattended in this point of time. So now the aggression from Zoktai, because they had this bomb planned, will bring them into a situation to not go for anything else than just some advanced pistols. And here comes the push. Three players onto the A-side. We'll await them. It will be Robin Hood who will meet them first. Oh, but they're coming on from behind. And look at Robin. He will have a problem. Okay, that's some big problems with the final also going down, but then uh, throwing the weapons around. When most is spraying IU also is not really the greatest idea. Though, bomb is planted again, and Zaktai overall, they're not doing so bad in terms of money. But uh, another round will be lost. And Ready Faction takes a long way around, but the players are all already go for the defuse. Butter K has no kit, though. Interesting decision, reaction. Please do something. Okay, let them have the defuse. I think this is all he can come up with. No gun safe for him is the most unfortunate thing. Oh, and he also gets taken down, though he had some armor. But two plants in a row. This favors their economy massively. Mm hmm. Butter K, Lando going for some FAMASIs. Okay, Lando's throwing out the weapon and looked like he might have misbought something and replaced the FAMAS, thus wasting money. It so oftentimes happens when you buy a UMP instead of an AWP. I'm just here right now, and if I think it, think it is the best decision right now at this point for those guys from Zoktai. I'm not quite sure if they had the money, but not taking it off an aggressive setup is rewarding, keeping the bomb far away, also understandable. And the realization sets in for Reddy Faction and his team. Banana is quite clear, we could try. But Robin Hood rotates over. Mosa is in an advantageous position to get a rotation done. And he also moves towards CT? No, he stays in a tunnel. Oh no, oh Reddy oh. Faction, this is exactly how you not want to take him down, but... Why would you go Banana right now? Where's the sense into that when you realize three players are there? Yeah, when you okay, just push out like okay, that. Getting... When you push out like that and see three people in front of you, it's got to be a tough moment, definitely. But okay, luckily enough for himself, he gets another kill before death. So, yeah, the job was done by FPW this part, definitely on that banana. Truth is down to five HP, but no more sprays through the smoke hit him, so he's still alive. The bomb is once again planted, but I feel like all that uh, this far is uptake are able to do on the T side, just planting the bomb. But winning the round is a little bit too tough, oh, no. though, Lando. A little bit unlucky because the other smoke was further behind the first one. So he was left completely in the open and with no support from his teammates. And there comes just one more. Robin Hood needs to do it and has not the slightest bit of a chance. 
Soktai secured himself the 11th. When they have the guns, they can make the magic happen. Was a good idea to save it through. And now FTW. Hmm, what does their economy say? Because we see the final, not really good one. Moza, not really a good one. Yep, only Butter has a decent rifle. They need to make some work with this. They need to hold the close range. They need to hit their shots. Otherwise, Soktai will take a massive lead and will put FTW in a position to only play with very, very bad equipment. Rosie, already losing a little bit of HP. Same for Robin Hood. And Stefine. I feel like he's got a chance to pull it off. He hears the footstep, knows that oh, the guy will be looking at his position or sitting on top of the cab uh, or cab slash barrel nowadays. Uh, but yeah, good read, good read, definitely. Indeed, but what is more likely a good read? How only two players of FTW are standing there into the house Mosa as well as Lando should not be able to realize what's up but look at Rosie does he take it down yes he realized what's up there's Robin Hood and Define pushing it towards Banana but only Mosa is the last target onto the A side find him and you're good to go for the plan here we are in a situation where Truth takes a quite aggressive angle and finds even Robin Hood off guards Define go for it or not that decision is important oh He's dead. Now you know which kind of decision he took and that it wasn't the right one. Five rounds difference. In theory, that is quite a nice advantage that Soktai have built up right there, but there's still a possibility for FTW to do a little bit more. But finally, Soktai kind of like, from only planting the bomb, advanced to actually winning rounds. And I feel like this the first round that they won in the second half was the most breaking one because it was a four on three in favor of FPW that they were not able to pull through some maybe a little bit lucky frags from Zogtai. You know, a lot of them though earned with hard work and that must have demotivated mm -hmm. FTW. I mean the three Germans, the one Swedish guy and also the one Hungarian here from FTW are trying their best to get anything out of this. But with nothing on the board, with no money they can work with, and also this round is not really satisfying. This is their force opportunity, but take a look. It is not really where you say, okay, we have so much utility, we have so much to work with, now or never. Lando can't afford full armor, not quite sure why he does that. He only gets full armor. He could have just gotten body armor, smoke or something like that, but no, Lando spends every single dollar right now like many of his teammates do and this is not ex actually the start you want to have two are playing onto banana Pauls are realized what's up but doesn't get butter k and that bomb shouldn't be so far ahead why would ready faction do this oh, oh that's no this so is so sad. senseless and uh, yeah the molly was a little bit unlucky for zokta actually and uh i i just said how possibly the first round they took on the t side was with a little bit of luck involved and maybe here's the karma striking at the right moment so that ftw can bounce back but yeah it's not yet over it's still a three on three but the bomb is spotted out by the cts and that smoke is kind of questionable oh that flame but what a molly, oh, no, what a molly. Flame. look at the fine <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be dead and Robin Hood realized uh, at a bright moment and he was also able to run away from there without the terrorists spotting him out, but that hurt them so much. It's 150 damage done by a single molly. Yeah, and take a look at that. Now they're getting it back to the two versus one. Butter has a good chance though. Gets himself back onto the tunnel and will Truth realize what's up? Because somehow they seem quite clueless. Now they know though, 30 seconds are left, but the plan will happen anyway. Pressure is big on to Butter K. Pressure is really, really massive onto that German player. What will Valentin Plentev, the 18-year-old, come up with in this moment? Because this is not his easiest task. Oh, blind about a flashbang. That's going to set him back even more. And the poise is already called in by FTW. And this time, I believe, yeah, it is going to be tactical. That's what they need. And uh, with Rosie in such a position, it's over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it See, is over. 40 to 7. Would not look at that corner, even if he got the kill on through. The pause is there for FTW. And it's a little bit of a late pause, actually. Once more, 3.5, 2.9. The money is horrible onto that European mix. It just is not satisfying to get something massive on the board. 
And it seems like Zoctite directly advances to the group final. Seems like Zoctite make their way through and they don't even care how their enemies will approach this one. Because all having that AK, all having that full utility, and still 10k onto Rosie, 8k onto Truth and Enix. Even losing this one won't really hurt them, even if that will happen. Mm, and it's very doubtful that there is even a shade of a chance to make that happen for FDW. But they can sure try. And with uh, CZ already on Mosa, you can clearly see where that's going to be going. Or maybe they're trying to actually get the full buy on the last, possibly, last round. But when Zokta actually are sitting on 15, maybe they believe that there's a possibility to win eight in a row. Yeah, but I'm, let's be real for a second. I mean, it's a nice thought. It's really, really happy, motivating. Could be a Disney movie where the underdog team in the end takes it, but um, I don't see that happening. I don't see that coming around the corner in a few seconds at all because Soktai has such a solid buy. Soktai has such a strong strategic advantage so far. And FCW doesn't come up with anything. It is what we talked about earlier on. Will that finesse be there? Will that slight advantage from the Zoktai side be existent or not? And as we see, they had a strong opponent on, on Cobblestone. Gameplay DNA wasn't an easy enemy, and now they know how they really can get into these games. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's tough call for FTW for sure. Especially, I mean, this one situation, the first round Zoktai got on the D side, 4v3 in favor of FTW, very unlucky. Then just the previous round, the five burning down because he was blinded by the flashbang, he didn't really know what was going on, thought that maybe the molly had has not reached him, and, and even if he realized that, there was no big possibility of him running away from there while being blinded. Um, and... There's just so many situations that are demotivating, that are like crushing to FTW and their their mindset that uh, I don't really imagine them recovering. What I find more interesting though in this scenario is that FTW, instead of denying or trying to deny those guys from Zoktai to have the 15th round on the board, they give them the opportunity because they go for the safe. They find for some reason... Why is he so much into that? I mean, at this point, you shouldn't really go for those taser frags. It's funny, it's it's hilarious, but as we see, FTW Esports, not the slightest bit of a chance in this one. Oh well, there's a kill. A little bit uh, unlucky of uh, smoke from Rosie. And Truth, just to close it out. One more round for Zaktai and FTW... Are gonna have the money. Are gonna go for a double up setup that they've gone for against uh, Wise Wizards at some point on cash, and it was quite successful, but it's definitely not unbeatable. No, definitely not unbeatable. But last chance. Let's tr see what you can do. The breath of the nearly dead body, but here comes Define with Rosie Lando as well. Triple up setup. Okay, this okay. is unusual. But you can play that for sure. I mean, it's just kind of awkward because if you get too close range, those ops can't do much anymore. Only one player is there from b those guys from FTW on that B side. And let's see how they will approach it. Beautiful Hauser, but reacts a little bit too slowly to that. And then, truth. To try and even it all out, to try and make it double for his team right now because they don't want to extend this game unnecessarily. They don't want to waste their time. What's that? Behind that smoke. What an AG! Okay, no. Truth was really low in health, but Truth is now down to six! He was hit through the wall, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. But the fine is he, if he peeks through that smoke. Okay, never mind. They just want to boost themselves. But that also was. Yeah, this is it. This yeah, should and... be it. There we go. 16-7, uh, though wasn't as um, one-sided as I expected it to be, but uh, Zoktai definitely safely, without any big problems, securing this map is what they were looking for, so that's how it ends. Uh, FTW now dropping to the loser's brackets, their story is not over mm -hmm. yet, but it's going to be so hard to face off, probably against gameplay DNA, possibly. 
against um, yeah. against Wise Wizards, but this time with a full lineup, it's tough. I think it's more likely dual if gameplay DNA or Define GG will more buy more tasers on each side, but um, we're going to find out who will be out of the tournament and who will be into the second lucky bracket we're going to see at 20 Central European time. First of all, we see at 19 CET gameplay DNA versus Wise Wizards, and if I'm not totally wrong, we're going for a 10 minute break. We should be just back in a second with all the games you're going to see tonight. So. Stick to us, stay tuned, get yourself a drink, get something to eat, and be back at ELC Legend Series number two. 